Doctor, how is my brother? Is he conscious now? Do I need to donate more blood? James, I am sorry to tell you this. We lost your brother. Be a strong man, please. Doctor, what did you say? You lost who? My only brother? You must be joking. Are you serious? I am sorry, James. Please take heart. You need to clear the medical bills, and we will prepare his body for burial. Sam is gone? Please, do everything to bring my brother back to life. This can't continue happening. I have lost three brothers in just three years? What have we done wrong? Ah. Uh, Jesus Christ help us. Take heart, brother. It is well with you. Sam is gone, truly? Sam is dead? We were still talking two days ago. Sam was still planning my wedding with me two days ago. Is that how people die? Just within two days? Same way I lost Anthony and Michael. What is going on, oh Lord? What have we done wrong? I kept having a strange feeling since last week. I'll miss you, Sam. James, is it true? Rosalyn, please have your sit. Is it true that Sam is dead? Rosalyn, Sam is with my family. I am sure he must have seen my two brothers and our parents by now. Rosalyn, I'm left alone in this world. I don't have anyone to call family again, Rosalyn. They've left me alone. Isn't it better for me to go with them? James, I'm here with you and for you. We are going to start our family soon. You are not alone in this world. Please take heart, my love. It's just so sad. It's just few months to our wedding and this is happening. I'll miss Sam so much. Cheer up, James. Thank you, Rosellen. Dear God, I come to you with a heavy heart, seeking understanding and guidance. The recent events in my fiancé's family, especially his brother's death and the struggles my fiancé is facing, have left us all in turmoil. I pray for clarity and strength for him, and for us as a family. Please shed light on what is truly happening and help us find peace and healing in this difficult time. Amen. I hope you know what you are going into. What do you mean? What are you talking about about? And why do you look so much like me? Rosalyn, I am your guardian angel. You have asked some questions, and I'm here to provide answers to them. Do you know what you are going into by getting married to James? Is this how guardian angels look like? I am so happy I am meeting you today. You look prettier than me. Back to your question. James is a great man. He's the only man I love so much. We have both prayed about it, and the Lord told us to continue, we've done medical tests, and we are compatible. What are you now saying about if I know what I am going into? Rosalyn, James is battling with a generation and curse and he's unaware. His parents had committed a crime before they died and the victim they hurt cursed the entire family. James needed total restoration and deliverance from that curse. Rosalyn, it is up to you. Please wait, I need to ask you more. I can't remember this dream. I know it was a revelation, but I can't remember. Lord Jesus, please bring to my remembrance the dream I just had. I know you are trying to tell me something. I cancel every spirit that makes me forget my dreams in Jesus' name. I pray that you bring remembrance to every forgotten dream. Restore hope where it has been lost, and ignite passion where it has dimmed. Help me to remember the dreams and desires you have placed in my heart, and give me the courage to pursue them. May your guidance lead me to fulfill your purpose and bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name I have prayed, Amen. Rosalind, what are you thinking about? I hope all is well. I just remembered the dream I had. It was so scary. What was the dream about? I saw someone that looks like me. She said she's my guardian angel. 
She told me some things about you and your family. She said something about your family being cursed. More like a generation or something. Babe, please, we need to fast and pray fervently. I don't want to lose you. Spiritual woman. You take things too personal? Must you bring God into all our conversations? Take it easy, Rosellen. James, you need to listen to me now. It came in form of a revelation. I am not lying. We need to fast and pray before our wedding. Rosalind, I am a Christian like you, and I also hear from God. Stop acting as if I don't know Christ at all. Don't get me wrong, James. I am not saying you are not a Christian. But, I'm having this strong feeling that we need to pray seriously. Rosalind, you know I just lost my brother. I don't need all these pressure now. Please, this can wait. I do not like this, James. You've stopped praying for a long time now, even before Sam died. You have been claiming to be busy, but you don't pray and fellowship like you do before. You even stopped going to church. Don't let us start this again. Are you telling me that Christ no longer dwell in me? It's fine. I have heard you. But, I still have this feeling that we need to pray. Something is definitely going on. You are too conscious. We will talk about this later. It is almost time for us to strike again. We are gradually wiping the entire family out. You are right, the date is near, but I can feel a stronger power in this house. It wasn't like this when we came to take the life of Sam last year. You are right. But who or what can stop us? We need to wipe out this entire family, even the woman carrying their blood must die and we will come to finish our agenda soon. It is a must. Since that woman has decided to be part of their family, she must die either now or the baby must die next year when she has given birth. I can feel some presence in this house. What is wrong? Something is definitely wrong in this house. James, I am worried. Worried about what? I can sense some strange feeling in this house. I don't know what it is, but something is definitely wrong somewhere. Rosalind, you have started again, right? What have I started? I said I could sense some strange feeling in this house. Look, James, it is very important we fast and pray. You take things too serious, Rosalind. I can't believe you are doing this right now. You know I've been stressed a lot today. Please, I can't fast now. And I don't think we should do so either, you need to relax. You know the doctor said you need to rest because of the pregnancy. Stop attaching everything to pregnancy. I am fine and my baby is fine by God's grace. I am telling you something very important, but you are ignoring me. Baby, this is clearly pregnancy hormone. You are just two months gone and you are already acting like this? I know you won't take me serious, but it is fine. I know what to do. I can still feel that there's something wrong somewhere in this house. I can feel it heavily within me. Even if my husband is not going to join me in praying, I'll do that myself. I'll fast for till I cannot feel this way again. I know that the Lord is trying to tell me something. Lord Jesus, all the powers of our adversaries be rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. Every evil tongue uttering curses and other evil pronouncements against our life be completely silenced in the name of Jesus. I command every evil stronghold and powers housing our rights and goodness to be violently overthrown in the name of Jesus. I pursue, overtake and recover our properties from the hands of spiritual robbers in the name of Jesus. Let every counsel, plan, desire, expectation, imagination, device and activity of the oppressors against our life be rendered null and void in the name of Jesus. I terminate every contract and cancel every evil promissory note kept in satanic files for our sake in the name of Jesus. I release myself and my husband from the powers and activities of the wasters in the name of Jesus. 
We refuse to be tossed around by any evil remote control device fashioned to delay my miracle in the name of Jesus. Let all the citadels of evil summoning of the spirit receive the fire of God and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. So, you have been fasting for three days? How come I didn't know? It is because you leave home early and come back when I had already break my fast. You won't allow me fast as well if I had told you. Yes, because you are pregnant with my babies. Babies? Yes, the doctor said we might be expecting twin. My God is so good. So please, do not stress yourself again. All right. I have heard you. Come, let's go and eat. The time is now. And we must make good use of it. Today it is. The day we will celebrate the wiping out of a whole generation. Let's go and strike them. I am feeling powerless. I can't do anything. I am feeling powerless. Even me, what is happening? Sweetheart, I'm feeling some type of way again. I guess there's an evil spirit here. Rosaline. What is your problem? Why are you always the one feeling this way and not me? I am a Christian too. Stop all this drama. I honestly do not know why you can't feel it, but this time around, it is so strong. Babe, we need to pray immediately. I prayed when I woke up this morning, Rosalyn. I am not going to do this with you. Please, trust my instincts. I am done having this conversation. You need to go see the doctor in Monday. This is getting out of hand. Did you just walk out on me to go sit on the bed? I can't deal with that attitude of yours again. But I can feel something very strong. James, what date did Sam died? 19th of February. What is the problem? What about Anthony and Michael? I think it is February as well. One was 19th and the other 20th. I can't remember. James. Today's date is 19th. 19th of February. This should ring a bell. What do you mean? I thought it was just coincidental. We need to pray, babe. Immediately. Am I going to die? Rosaline. I am scared. Is this real? Was it coincidental? Were you just having a random thought? Jesus Christ, help me. Say something, Rosalyn. What do we do? I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let our foot slip. He who watches over us will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over us. The Lord is our shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm us by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep us from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over you coming and going both now and forevermore. Psalm 24, 7-10 says, Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Exodus 23, 27 says, I will send my terror ahead of you and throw into confusion every nation you encounter. I will make all your enemies turn their backs and run. Lord Jesus, please throw confusion into the camps of our enemies. Help us fight our battles. We cancel the spirit of death looming around this household in Jesus' name. We are conquerors in Jesus' name. What are you doing here? Why will you ask me such question? Why are you here? I am more powerful than you are. Do not be disrespectful. Leave here now. Do not try me. I am bigger than you. I can destroy you here immediately. Do not try me. I will destroy you. 
Since we clearly don't have business here, I'll show you who I am and how powerful I am today. We clearly do not have business here. We weren't meant to be here. I'll destroy you today. Sam. James. Sam. I have missed you. Where are others? They're over there. Take me to them. I need to see them. No, James. You do not belong here. Go back to your wife. You need to be grateful to God for the wife he has given you. That woman saved our family's name. She saved you from being here with us now. She is a great woman. Bye, James. James. You are finally awake. Thank you, Jesus. This is a hospital. What am I doing here? How did I get here? James, you collapsed suddenly while we were praying yesterday and you've not opened your eyes since then. It's been 26 hours now. Thank you Lord Jesus, for bringing my husband back to life. I saw Sam in my dream, he told me to thank you. He told me that you have saved our family name. Thank you so much Rosalyn. I promise you, I will always listen to you as from today. Thank you so much my darling wife. All thanks be unto the Lord. God is too praised. But trust me, it is not about listening to me. It is about you yourself staying alert. You need to be spiritually discerned. I accept Rosalyn. I have been spiritually detached. I need to go back to the Lord and ask for forgiveness of sin, stand firm in Christ so that he can speak to me. Babe, tell me, what more do I need to do? To be spiritually discerned. You need to regularly pray for spiritual wisdom and discernment. James 1, 5 Spend time reading and studying the Bible to understand God's truth. 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 Be attentive to the promptings and guidance of the Holy Spirit in your life. John 14, 26 Seek advice and wisdom from mature Christians who can help you grow spiritually. Proverbs 15, 22 Use discernment in daily decisions. Seeking God's guidance in all things. Proverbs 3, 5-6 Cultivate a close relationship with God through prayer, worship, and obedience. John 15, 5 Be willing to accept correction and guidance from God's word and other believers. Proverbs 12, 1 Let love guide your interactions with others, as it is a fruit of the Spirit and essential for discernment. Galatians 5, 22-23 Thanks babe. You are a blessing. It is good to be spiritually discerned. 